data management without Autodesk Vault, kind of that life without Vault. Um, a lot of times you, um, you may have a scenario where your islands of information, where you have information stored on your computer, maybe it's stored on another individual's computer, but there's really a mess of information all over the place, and there's no effective means to really organize that. And, and without a vaulting system, um, it's really difficult to understand all the different relationships and manage those relationships within Inventor or even AutoCAD. You may have a version of a file on one machine. Maybe you take a laptop home with you. So you can get out-of-date information very quickly um, where you get to the point where you're actually using the wrong document, and that can cause you some issues downstream. So some of those cause and effects without Autodesk Vault I mentioned you might have multiple versions of a file stored in multiple locations. And that could be very difficult to understand what is the latest and greatest piece of information that you're working with. If I'm working on a file that's four versions old, I'm really wasting my time um, by working on that file and, and I really need to get the latest and greatest information and, and truly understanding where it's at can be a difficult uh, scenario. A lot of times with a, a system without any control, users tend to copy that information locally. Maybe the server's running real slow. Maybe it's even down. So you'll copy information to your local hard drive, and when you do that, you're now working on a, on a file that's not being referenced by others or that can get out of date very quickly. As you go through and work on that information, when you hit save or, or you do some, something with that file, there's no historical versions being saved, especially for reference. So if I wanted to go back and see what did this file look like three or four versions ago, you really don't have that ability without some sort of data management application in place. Um, also, um, without any way of storing those versions or revisions, um, there may not be any historical information, so you may, not, you may lose revisions, um, and then it's very difficult to find that information. Without a data management application, understanding the relationships that are occurring with an inventor can be very difficult. You know, you've got all these parent-child relationships going on in an assembly. An assembly is made up of parts, and then that's related to drawings. There's a lot of relationships going on there. And if I have a bearing and I want to know what, what assembly that bearing is used in, it's, it's difficult to have that knowledge. There might be an individual within the organization that kind of has that tribal knowledge that's able to tell you, oh, that bearing is used in these three assemblies. And, and what that can really help you out, or having that knowledge of where things are used, really can help understand the impact of a change. If I'm going to make a change to this plate and it's used in 30 assemblies, that's going to be a very um, hard impact in my environment. So just understanding that information can be very beneficial in an engineering environment. Some other things we have is secure access to files. Sometimes they're managed through Windows Explorer. And Windows Explorer is not the best mechanism for managing your data. Really, a DM application that has secure access, maybe even folder-level access to files, really restricts access to the individuals that need to view that data. Now, some of the effects that can be caused by, by those above comments would be maybe the wrong part is manufactured or potentially installed in a machine. Um, that could be some costly rework that, that could be generated from that, that situation. Um, when you're saving documents all over the place, designers can spend valuable time looking for that information. So if I know that a part is on your computer and you're gone for the week, you know, I really can't get to that inf information very quickly and it slows down my process. Um, copying data, you know, being able to, to copy an existing assembly can become very difficult without a data management application, more specifically without Autodesk Vault. A lot of times that's done very manually. I know that I have this assembly. I want to duplicate a series of parts within that assembly, and I have to go find them manually, do a save copy as, give them a new part number, update it, and so forth, and it can really take me a long time to replicate that type of information. Um, some other problems that can occur is changes can be done at will to release data. So I know I've got a release part, and that's currently what's being manufactured on the shop floor, but without any security in place, I could very easily go in there, make some changes to that document, and now that released file is, is incorrect. 
So really, without any kind of DM application, users have the ability to make changes at will without any control. Some other potential problems that can occur is the collaboration that's going on between departments. We've got the engineering department working with manufacturing as well as production. And if it's common a lot of times for a part to not match its drawing because they're out of sync. Revisions made in engineering are not communicated back to manufacturing. Or if manufacturing makes a change to something, they're not communicating that back to engineering. So there's really no way of collaborating between the two departments so that changes are being captured effectively so that the next time that part's manufactured, it's done correctly. Um, this picture kind of just depicts something here where we've got a welder working on a part. Um, you know, maybe he's found something where the weld was supposed to be an inch and he decided to make it three inches, and he's not capturing that information on the documentation. Well, the next time it's done, that same mistake's going to be um, duplicated, and there could be some downstream effects from that. Um, as he's building this assembly, if he doesn't have an accurate bill of materials, he may not know how many parts he needs to grab to put this thing together. So really, it can take him a long time to compile those parts, or maybe he has to keep going back to the bin to get those parts because the bill of material was out of date and incorrect. So again, this, this picture just depicts some of the issues that can occur without data management within an organization. So market research um, that has been done, and this is a little old from 2002, but it defines some of the core functions a data management application should have. And I would think one of the, the highest ones on the list is access control and security. You need to secure that data so the right individuals have access to it. Uh, we mentioned those at will changes a, mention, uh, a second ago. We don't want users just making changes at will. We want to be able to control our release data. And our Autodesk Vault has the ability to really facilitate that process. Um, component and material classifications um, also support for product structure. You know, different companies organize data differently. Maybe some companies organize it with a project folder. Maybe that's a customer folder. Well, a DM application has to have a mechanism or a way to support that type of structure. And again, Autodesk Vault can do that for you. Being able to control engineering changes is a very critical point for, for many organizations. Um, and we do have a formal process that's template driven that allows you to manage uh, very easily your data uh, within the Autodesk Vault software. Uh, in conjunction with engineering change management, uh, a process management and workflow. There's built-in workflow both, into, both in Vault manufacturing as well as some of the other Vault products that allow you to create a workflow. An example might be I, I start with a prototype state or an R&D state. Then I move into engineering to kind of refine that and actually make the product. Once it's in, in engineering, that could be called work in progress. Then I want to release it to manufacturing. So I've got a, a standardized workflow of how a part moves from, from its conception all the way to its release or ultimately being built for a customer. And then finally, being able to collaborate, allowing all the individuals within the organization to be able to collaborate on a design, being able to gain access to the data management application so that they can view, view that information. And we have many levels of collaboration. You know, we have a web client built into Vault Manufacturing and Vault Collaboration that allows individuals that just need to search, view, and print. They don't need to edit the data. They very quickly just need to get in with a simple interface, find something, and maybe print it off so that they can start cutting metal. So we, we have a lot of these core functions built into the family of products that are available for Autodesk Vault. Some other compelling reasons to move into data management are we've got 93% of best-in-class manufacturers store and access all product information from a central repository. And Autodesk Vault is exactly that. It's a single location where all of your data is stored, and then your end users or your consumers within your organization have a way of accessing that information. And then they're always given the latest and greatest version of a document. Some other benefits uh, would include shortened time to market, improved product quality, and reduction in overall costs. All of this comes from standardized research that, that's done by, by independent organizations. 